With the release of the new DJI Goggles Integra, there's also been firmware updates for the Goggles 2 and the Avata. This firmware update has a number of new features, including HD OSD, but there are a couple of other things that I think are very interesting as well. The first is a new feature that actually gives you a visual indication along the bottom when the signal on your DJI system is getting low. This comes up and shows a band along the bottom, either amber or red, depending on what signal level you have, and actually gives gives you a much more visual warning of what is going on. Now to demonstrate this, what I'm going to do is put the aircraft on the bench and go for a wander with the goggles and remote. And what you'll see is a coloured band appear along the bottom with it bulging next to the signals. And you can see it starts at amber and then changes to red as the signal gets at the very low level. Now this works for both the RC signal and the HD video link signal. And the idea of this is to warn you in a more visual manner that your signal may be getting low. DJI have done this, I think, as a result of some of the feedback people have had with problems on the RC2 as well as the O3 system. And I'll be honest, I spotted this first of all in my initial tests for the new DJI Goggles Integra. And as you'll see here, I was moving through the bushes and as the signal started to get low, it then showed it up at the bottom and it wasn't something that I was personally expecting. Overall, I actually think this is a really nice new feature that DJI have added to the O3 system as well as the Avata. And it just highlights what's going on with your signal a little bit better rather than it just being those little icons that change colour at the bottom, you now get this line along the bottom that warns you that there is something that you need to pay attention to. Now having checked, this is only available unfortunately on the Goggles 2 and the new Goggles Integra. The update for the V2 Goggles does not have this feature. Further to this, DJI have finally added the ability for users to be able to remove their personal data from their aircraft or goggles. For those who watch the channel regularly, you'd have known that I released a video talking about this very subject just a few weeks ago, and now we have a tool in the goggles that allows you to delete the data that is being stored on your aircraft. Now just to demonstrate how to delete the data, you go into settings, down to about, and if you scroll all the way to the bottom, next to what used to be reset all, you should now have an option called clear all data. When you go into this, it then gives you a warning telling you the data that is going to remove off your device, and then you simply click. What will happen is the data on the goggles and the aircraft will be erased, the system both parts will completely reset. If you're using goggles, you will need to set them up again because you'll go through the basic setup options and then you will find all of the user data has been removed from both parts of the system. If you check in Assistant 2, you'll see the data has been removed and also you can tell it's been removed by going under your last flight's data in the goggles as well and you'll see that this has been removed. Here and now, this is only for the DJI Avata and select DJI aircraft. However, hopefully we will see this coming to the O3 ear unit in the near future as well. It is great to see DJI take on board user feedback and finally give us the ability to delete our personal data. As I mentioned, it isn't available on O3 today. However, that hasn't had an update yet and I see no reason that won't receive that feature when the next update is released. It's also nice to see DJI add this new feature with regards to showing you the critical points of the signal, although I do think it would have been better with a full square box around the image rather than this sort of strange light that creeps up from the bottom. It does flash on and off, but it isn't solid, it isn't square, it's sort of like a light leak type of effect is what I would call it, which bulges next to the signal bars. For me, what would have been better is like an amber or a yellow or red box that went around the screen when the signal level is getting low and not just that strange sort of line that we've got along the bottom. However, it definitely works and it definitely alerts you to the fact that something is going on. You may find the first time you see it, you're not quite sure what it's all about, but hopefully now I've showed it to you, you will. Anyway, that's it from me on this one. If you found this video interesting, please do make sure you are subscribed to the channel. If you want to support the channel, please do check out the links to Patreon as well as buy me a coffee in the description. If you have any questions, please do put it in the comment section. I will try and answer it and I will speak to you again soon.